political class says, but I hear from the American people too. That's why I refuse to quit. South Carolina will vote on Saturday, but on Sunday, I'll still be running for president. I'm not going anywhere. His gift for Nikki Haley is Donald Trump continuing to attack her, which he his campaign continues to do. Given how far ahead he is, he should they should just be ignoring her and acting as though he is the nominee, because I firmly believe that there is no path for Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. Trump will be the Republican nominee. Now, what's fueling her is the fact that she's still able to raise money. And everyone knows that money is um, gravely important in politics. And as long as there are donors out there willing to fund her, she will stay in this race and continue to troll Trump for as long as she possibly can. I think their calculus here is that something happens to him, whether it's through the court system or something mm. uh, between now and the convention. And she gathers delegates, even though she's not winning states, she's gathering some delegates and they can make a move at the convention. This was what Ted Cruz tried to do last time around in 2016, and it failed miserably for him. Ultimately, he acquiesced and uh, supported Donald Trump, which I think is where Nikki Haley will end up in the end. Yeah, let's um, let's pick up one thought on that, that something happens to him. Uh, Peter, let me put the calendar on the screen for people and the South Carolina primary on Sunday, then Super Tuesday, 5th of March. Somewhere between that date and the Republican National Convention, which is the 15th, 18th of July, we may get depending on the Supreme Court, we may get the start of the federal election interference case in Washington. So are they betting that at some point his presidency or his nomination becomes untenable in the... Uh, Trump. But there are some people in the Republican Party who see this not just in the classic political terms of a race who's going to win, but something more important than that, you know, whether we should actually, or whether they rather, as a Republican Party, should push back against this almost cult which has taken over the party and has propelled, you know, this entirely unsuitable narcissistic semi-sociopath into power one time and could do it a second time where the results could be much, much worse. So I think there might also be a bit of principle there that whilst there still is a hope of stopping this, you know, if you're a member of the party and have been for a long time, 